In the still of the night, the eerie sound of a piano melody whispered through the empty halls. The grand mansion, once brimming with laughter and joy, now echoed with a chilling tune. Imagine a splendid architectural masterpiece standing silent and deserted, its grandeur slowly succumbing to the ravages of time. This mansion, filled with age-old secrets, was once home to a wealthy family, known for their love of music and the arts. But it was not their prosperity that etched the mansion into local folklore. It was the mysterious, untimely demise of its inhabitants. Each night, as the clock strikes midnight, the mansion springs to life with the haunting strains of a piano. The melody, melancholic and chilling, seems to tell a tale of loss and despair. As the last note faded into the darkness, an unsettling silence descended upon the mansion, leaving one to ponder the eerie mysteries that lie within its ancient walls. In the heart of this chilling silence, a new presence arrived, daring to disrupt the mansion's spectral harmony. Meet our main character, a virtuoso of the piano, world-renowned for his soul-stirring melodies. This maestro, in his quest for solitude and the perfect acoustics, decided to move into this grand but somewhat forsaken mansion. With its sprawling rooms and towering ceilings, the mansion was a haven for music, an ideal spot for a pianist seeking peace and isolation to perfect his craft. Upon his arrival, the mansion greeted him with a profound silence, a silence so deep it seemed as though the mansion itself was holding its breath, waiting, listening. Our pianist, however, oblivious to the mansion's haunted past, was captivated by its architectural grandeur and the enchanting aura it exuded. He was intrigued by the mansion's antiquity, its walls echoing stories of bygone eras. He was awestruck by its grand ballroom, with its high ceilings and ornate chandeliers, the perfect setting for his grand piano. He could already hear his melodies bouncing off the walls, filling the air with music, breaking the mansion's long-standing silence. It gave him an uncanny sense of belonging, as though the mansion had been waiting for his arrival, waiting for his music, yet Beneath his excitement, there was an undercurrent of unease. The mansion in all its grandeur had a certain coldness to it, a certain eeriness that sent shivers down his spine. The long, shadowy corridors and the ominous creaking sounds made the mansion seem almost alive, almost sentient. But he brushed off these feelings as mere figments of his imagination, attributing them to the mansion's age and his own nerves. After all, he was here for his music, his art, and he was determined to let nothing distract him from it. However, as he settled into his new home, he remained blissfully unaware of the mansion's haunted history, the whispers of its ghostly inhabitants, the eerie lullabies that echoed through its halls in the dead of the night. Little did the pianist know, his life was about to play out a melody of horror. As the pianist settled into the mansion, the echoes of the past began to stir, awakened by the strains of his music. The mansion, once filled with silence and emptiness, now echoed with the haunting notes played by the pianist. His fingers danced on the keys, each note resonating within the ancient walls, stirring up the dormant spirits that lay hidden in the mansion's shadows. With the passage of time, the pianist began to notice strange occurrences. Unexplained sounds filled the air, whispers without a source, footsteps echoing in the empty halls. These sounds although faint, were distinct and persistent, increasing in frequency with each passing day. His nights were filled with a chilling sensation of being watched. It was as though unseen eyes were observing him from the darkness, their gaze unblinking, following his every move. The once welcoming mansion began to feel oppressive, the air heavy with an unseen presence, but what was most unsettling were the shadows. They seemed to move on their own accord, shifting and twisting in the corners of his vision. They danced in the flickering candlelight, their movements too deliberate to be mere tricks of the light. The piano, too, seemed to have a life of its own. In the dead of night, the pianist would awaken to the sound of piano keys being played. The melody was hauntingly familiar, a ghostly echo of the tunes he played during the day. But the mansion was empty, and the piano room locked from the inside. The pianist was caught in a web of fear and fascination. He was terrified yet intrigued by the spectral inhabitants of the mansion. He tried to unravel the mystery, delving deeper into the mansion's past, seeking answers in dusty tomes and faded letters. With each passing day, the mansion's spectral inhabitants grew bolder, their haunting melody growing louder. 
The pianist was trapped in a symphony of horror, the echoes of the past growing stronger with each note he played. The chilling melody of the mansion, once a faint whisper, was now a deafening roar, a haunting reminder of the past that refused to be silenced. One fateful night, the pianist found himself drawn to the grand piano, its keys gleaming in the moonlight. The allure was irresistible, as if a magnetic force beckoned him to sit on the plush velvet stool. A peculiar sensation washed over him, an inexplicable urge to weave a melody he had never played before. Without conscious thought, his fingers began to move, dancing over the keys to play a sonata that was hauntingly beautiful, yet eerily unfamiliar. Each note filled the room with a chilling melody that echoed the spectral tune he'd been hearing in his dreams. The sonata flowed from his fingers as if it were a song he'd known his whole life, yet he could not recall ever learning it. He was but a vessel guided by an unseen force, an instrument playing a ghostly symphony. As he lost himself in the music, a sudden cold breeze swept through the room, sending shivers down his spine. The lights flickered ominously, casting eerie shadows that danced in rhythm with the spectral sonata. The air grew thick with a tension that was almost tangible, as if the room itself was holding its breath, entranced by the haunting melody. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he spotted a spectral figure materializing beside the piano. It was a translucent apparition, its form shimmering in the flickering candlelight. The figure seemed to sway with the rhythm, a silent partner in this ghostly dance. The sight should have been terrifying, yet the pianist found himself strangely calm, his fingers continuing to play the spectral sonata without missing a beat. As the final notes of the sonata filled the room, a sense of serenity descended. The spectral figure seemed to dissolve into the music, its form becoming one with the haunting melody. And then, as the final note resonated, the spectral figure vanished, leaving behind a chilling silence. The sonata had ended, but its echo lingered, a ghostly reminder of the spectral dance that had just occurred. In the eerie silence, the pianist uncovered a dark secret, a tale of love, betrayal, and a haunting melody. The spectral figure, it seemed, was once a resident of this very mansion. Not just any resident, but a gifted pianist, much like our protagonist. His fingers once danced across the piano keys, weaving melodies that filled the mansion with life and music. But his story was not one of joy and fulfillment. It was a tale steeped in darkness. A tale of a love that turned into a poisonous betrayal. The pianist was deeply in love, a love so profound it inspired him to compose a sonata, a masterpiece that was to be his gift to his beloved. But unbeknownst to him, his love was not returned. His beloved, driven by greed and deceit, betrayed him. He was murdered in cold blood, his sonata left incomplete, his love unrequited. It was this chilling melody, this unfinished sonata that our protagonist had stumbled upon. The ghostly pianist, through his haunting melody, was crying out, telling his story to anyone who would listen. Each note, each chord was a piece of his heart, a fragment of his shattered dreams. The mansion was not just haunted by a spectre, but by a tale of love, betrayal and a melody that yearned for completion. Our protagonist, moved by the spectral pianist's tale, took it upon himself to finish what was left incomplete. He poured his soul into the keys, completing the sonata, the final tribute to the spectral pianist's tragic tale. The chilling melody that once echoed through the mansion now told a complete story, a story of love, betrayal, and a haunting melody finally set free. In the heart of the mansion, the pianist found not just a haunting melody, but a tale of tragedy echoing through time. Uh, with the truth revealed, the pianist took a deep breath his fingers poised over the piano keys. In the heart of the mansion, the air hung heavy with anticipation. He began to play, his fingers dancing over the keys, weaving the ghostly sonata into the fabric of the mansion's history. This time it was not a haunting refrain, but a tribute to the spectral figure whose story was now known. As the melody echoed through the empty halls, a profound calm descended. The chilling draughts seemed to still. The shadows appeared less menacing and an ethereal tranquility settled over the mansion. Each note was a balm, healing the old wounds of the house and its ghostly inhabitant. The pianist played with a newfound respect, his music a bridge between the living and the spectral, a soothing lullaby for the unrested. As the last note faded, the mansion's haunting melody was finally set free, leaving behind a peaceful